Hey you guys, how are you doing? So today I'm going to be filming my fourth craft idea for Book Lovers DIYs Christmas Edition. Um, and it's going to be this really cool painting uh, that basically use Crayola uh, wax uh, crayons and, uh, and a silhouette cutout. That's basically it. Obviously you need a couple more things to put it together but that, these are the main two main things. Um, now what you're going to need, first of all you're going to need a blank canvas. Um, the size I chose was this one right here. Uh, it's a pretty small one. Um, I did another one right here. This one's way bigger. So the first canvas, canvas I showed you um, was a dollar from the dollar store and this one was three bucks from the dollar store as well. Um, gonna need crayons. In this case, I think I used 26, and uh, these boxes I believe they come with 16, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea. I believe it's 16. So, you can get two boxes. My boxes were $1.50 each, right here. Um, you need a silhouette. Now, I can't find, I'm to look for it, I can't find a silhouette because I printed two copies. One that I already glued on my canvas, the other one that I can't find. It's this girl reading a book under a tree. It's a really cute one, you know, it brings back the idea of like books and reading and everything. Uh, you're going to need cardboard, like just a piece of plain cardboard just to protect your silhouette from the dripping uh, wax. And uh, you're going to need. Oh, where is this roll? Oh my god. I lost all, everything I needed. I lost it. So <laughs> it's um, painter's tape, I think it's called, or I don't know, uh, paint tape, something like that. Anyways, I'm not gonna find it. It's the. Oh, it was right behind me. So it's this kind of tape. It's the tape uh, people usually use, like, to. Um, uh, on walls or something when they're painting just to separate like not to stain uh, places uh, like pieces of the wall and it really helps because it doesn't um, peel off paper or anything and it's really easy to remove and to handle I think that's it oh and you need the lighter obviously to uh, to melt the crayons oh and to personally uh, just a recommendation if you um, when you print your silhouettes I really strongly recommend you print them either at school or at university or um, wherever they have like these big professional printers because um, they use laser it's a laser printer whereas uh, most home printers are ink printers and ink if you're using it like to to uh, cover this whole surface it's really difficult for it to dry I did this one right here probably a month ago it still hasn't dried it stained the, um, the surrounding you know you're putting on a white canvas so I mean it stains easily so I would recommend you do that or if you do have a laser printer at home go ahead and print it at home and just to glue it I for the, the first one I used, the one I just showed you, I used stick glue, but I found that it didn't work as well. So this time I used uh, white glue and I just applied it with this uh, little uh, sponge thing. And these two are also from Dollarama. So yeah, now uh, to show you, I've already started it because uh, as you've heard me say in a whole bunch of different videos, I suck at editing. I have no idea how to. Uh, my uh, my Chromebook doesn't even open uh, my videos on there so I don't even know how I would do it on a software or whatever. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna have to bear with me here. Sorry. So I already made most of it. I'm just gonna show you how to melt two crayons and remove the, the tape and that's going to be it and I'll, I'll explain to you how I did everything. So that's my painting right here. 
so as you can see I glued the crayons up here with uh, some um, um, what's it called okay hug glue right there we go with a glue gun with hug glue um, I left the paper on these but you could definitely peel them off I just like the contrast of colors uh, that came you know with the, that um, and you just glue them another suggestion to place them before gluing them just so you can see how it would look like and um, yeah and then when you glue it just then glue your little silhouette over here mine was on an angle and uh, I'm gonna try my best to uh, put the, the link um, to put um, like a PDF version of what I did because this had uh, writing on here and I, I erased it on paint so so there but um, if I can't I'll just put the link and you guys can do whatever you want with it and yeah and then you just start melting basically be careful not to burn yourself or the the canvas and be careful uh, not to drip some hot wax on you uh, I did over here I don't know if you can see there's a bit of blue you can't see it it's not focusing uh, but it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt it just feels a bit hot so it's not the end of the world if you end up dripping some hot wax on it but I'm trying to figure out a way to do this okay I don't know if you can see So what I'm doing basically is I'm melting it from where the paper stops and dripping it down and it just kind of collects and then it starts dripping here at the tip and it for and it just spreads downwards. My, my little lighter is kind of falling apart here. It's like <laughs> I've used it to to do all that, and I think it's getting empty with gas. Like it has barely any in there. But I hope you guys can see. I hope I'm not blocking the view. Okay. And by the way, the cardboard thing I use, I didn't go far. I just used uh the thing for my Christmas hat that I got from the dollar store so doesn't need to be anything too special There we go, so I'm just going to stop it like that, then you just remove tape. Here it just dripped a little bit, but this you can also remove it very easily if it ended up collecting around a certain place. Just take some sharp object and just kind of scrape it off. This one is covered with glue, so it's not going to work. I'm just going to use my nails here. It's going to be faster, so I'm going to make you wait a long time. There you go. And there you go. That's the finished 
a canvas painting thing. I think it turned out really pretty. I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine. She really loves reading so she can put it next to her bookshelves. So yeah, want a closer look. There you go. Super easy. As you saw, I just passed my lighter right across here, melted it from here and let it drip down and that's what it forms and it's like small bubbles, looks like drops. It's really nice. So that's my fourth DIY project. Hope you liked it. Hope uh, if you do any of these uh, crafts, please send me pictures or 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 anything. I don't know. I just really want to see how it ended up um, with you guys. And yeah, hope you do that. It's super easy. You can you can decorate your whole room with different things like that. And I love the contrast of like black and white and uh, and the colored. Uh, crayons. So have a great day and uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye!